everyone, I'm Dr. Lau Bik Kui, consultant endocrinologist in KPJ Kuching Specialist Hospital. The reason we are doing this uh, video today, if you notice, in less than a week time, Muslims around the world will be observing the holiest month in their Muslim calendar, which is Bulan Ramadan. For the past three weeks, we have been actively posting important information to actually prepare our diabetic patient to go into Bulan Ramadan in a very safe way. Ideally, all diabetes patients who wish to fast during Bulan Ramadan should see their respective doctors before Bulan Ramadan. A few key points that I normally discuss with my diabetes patient before Bulan Ramadan are number one, whether my patient is in the high risk group of having diabetes related complications during fasting. A few points that would point towards high risk group are poorly controlled diabetes, recent history of diabetes ketoacidosis, frequent hypoglycemia, or patients who have diabetes related complications such as heart disease, kidney failure, as well as stroke. Number two will be the medications. As we know, diabetic medications would lower the blood glucose and they were prone to cause hypoglycemia when patients is having reduced carbohydrate intake during uh, Bulan Ramadan, during the fasting. Therefore, there are certain medications that are prone to cause hypoglycemia like insulin, like sulfonylurea, may need to be adjusted or sometimes may need to be stopped during Bulan Ramadan. Number three, which to me is the most essential part of the discussion is what should my patient do and react during the fasting month when they encounter diabetic related complications. So I will need to educate them about diet. I will need to educate them about what to do when they have symptoms of hyperglycemia, symptoms of hypoglycemia, and more importantly, when to breakfast so that they would not actually uh, fall into a life-threatening condition during prolonged fasting. During Bulan Ramadan, the most important or the key management to avoid diabetes-related complications would be serve glucose monitoring. So commonly, I will discuss with my patient how to do the serve glucose monitoring. So it will be depending on how is the glycemic control of my patient and what kind of medications my patient is on. For instance, if the diabetes control is good and patient is only on oral diabetes medication, patient will need to do uh, glucose monitoring only when he or she is symptomatic, such as if she feel having tremor, she feel giddiness, uh, which will point towards hypoglycemia, she may have to have to check sugar, or in another extreme, if the patient feels extremely tired, very thirsty, and a lot of urine output, which point towards symptoms of hyperglycemia, he or she may have to check a sugar as well. So when to end the uh, fasting of the day, when the sugar is extremely low, which is less than 4, or extremely high, more than 16.7 millimole per liter, patients should end the fast immediately to avoid severe diabetes related complications which will end up in hospital admission. But having said so, the risk of diabetes related complications is relatively low if there is a proper consultation, a proper preparation among doctors and diabetic patients before Bulan Ramadan. Therefore, I will strongly advise those who are fasting See, please see your respective doctor for risk stratification for adjustment of the medication and more importantly continue to live a healthy lifestyle eat healthily do not binge eating during puka puasa keep yourself well hydrated at saho all this will actually reduce the risk of diabetic related complications during fasting in my opinion this year's bulan ramadan is special and will be the toughest among our diabetic Muslim patients due to the MCO and the COVID-19 pandemic. In line of KBJ's spirit of care for life, we are striving for the best care 
and the safety of all our patients who visit and have consultation with us. Therefore, do drop by or call us if you need help during this Ramadan month. Final but not the least, I wish everyone safe fasting and blessed Ramadan. Thank you.